Grim Dark. Due to the existence of a monolith in our nerdy little niche, whose lore is predicated on this grim darkness, one could pretty easily come to the conclusion that tabletop wargaming equals grim dark. But is it really? And does it need to be? I'm Jared, and this is Caffeinated Miniatures. For the past year, I've been exploring this. My explorations of this topic had brought me to the worlds of Malifaux and Relic Blade, both of which I truly enjoy. While Malifaux has some fun zaniness in it, it's also pretty damn dark sometimes. And while I certainly enjoy dark, I wanted something else. Relic Blade got me closer. Sure, it takes place in a ruined world, but the characters, artwork, and gameplay just scream fun. Still though, I stayed on the search. Until one evening, while scrolling through Instagram, something caused me to slam on the brakes. A game and minis I hadn't come across previously. The gameplay seemed excellent and this mini, Doug the Flatulent, stole my heart. A goblin riding a pug? Yes, please. This wonderful game of Moonstone had a fun, whimsical aesthetic that I didn't realize I was missing. No grim darkness here. Even the more terrifying creatures are, well, cute. To honor this pug's look, I took to the internet. And after being distracted for far too long by overwhelming cuteness, I had some paints picked out. Mr. Flatulent's hair here was perfect for my kinda good but kinda shit sketchy style. Sketching in layer after layer of little lines helped sell the legitimacy of the hair effect. The eyes, however, were so big and beautiful that they felt a bit intimidating, and so they were left for last. One of the hallmarks of the grim and dark style seems to be dark, hard, and fairly dingy colors. So for this goblin, I wanted to lean into softer, almost pastel colors. After grabbing some paints for the leather, saddle, and pants, I mixed ivory into each of them as highlights, giving them all a soft and pastelish look that I felt was fitting for this universe. Rather than putting any thought into anything even remotely technical, I found myself focusing on what feels right. For instance, this little gobbo felt like he needed a very desaturated skin tone. So I just messed around with the paints on my palette and ended up with a mix of camel green and olive flesh that seemed fitting. Desaturated, but slightly warm, matching the overall vibe of Moonstone or at least my interpretation of it. Once again embracing my new mantra of kinda good but kinda shit, I painted the wooden lance, roughly sketching some lines that vaguely represented wood grain. And I just highlighted the lines I created and called it done. After all, each mini doesn't need to be a masterpiece. Initially, I thought I would make the armor pretty rusty and worn down looking. However, that really didn't sit right with me. Nope, this goblin and his noble steed needed some shiny steel, or at least my version of it. As I've said before, I've not found any metallic paint that I like. It just never acts the way I'd expect acrylic paint to, so I just don't use it. I prefer to use regular old acrylic paint. In this case, dark neutral gray, bright neutral gray, and white. As usual, I didn't do any blending here, which is pretty obvious when you're up close. I just applied thin, sketchy brush strokes. As long as the highlights are in close to the right areas, our brains kind of smooth the rest of it out for us. Finally, those big, beautiful eyes. I mixed some of the olive flesh with light pink to create the whites of the eyes, or, or rather the off whites of the eyes covering most of it once again with black for the pupil and the iris. Then sketched in some thin lines of various browns to create the iris. After recreating the pupils, I applied some specular highlights of white and boom, pug eyes. Moonstone has three factions, Commonwealth, Dominion, and Leshevolt. 
Doug the Flatulent here, and goblins in general, are part of the Dominion faction, kind of like meddling bureaucrats. As such, I felt like a cobblestone base was in order. There are many ways in which this could be done, but the material I had on hand was XPS foam. I hacked out some small rectangles to form cobblestones and laid them out in a not particularly uniform fashion. Once all the glue had dried, I grabbed my trusty ball of aluminum foil and beat the foam bricks into submission, otherwise known as rolling some random texture into the foam. Then painted on some watered down texture paste to add a little more texture and seal the foam. After some layers of opaque and transparent paints, followed by some dry brushing, we had a completed mini. Painting Doug the Flatulent was an absolute joy, and I'm really looking forward to painting more of these Moonstone minis and getting some more games in. If that's something you'd like to see, hit that like button and subscribe for more mediocre hobby content. And thanks for watching. You are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.